What's up guys, it's Double Wide Six, and today I'm working on this Cub Cadet leaf blower, and I'm pretty sure it has a spark issue. I'll show you what's going on. Here's a look at the unit. It's in nice shape. I uh, recently I picked up this uh, X Mark Laser Z Zero Turn, and um, the guy I got that from had this there, and he he just said it wouldn't start. So uh, I'm taking a look at it, and it looks like a pretty nice machine. It's got like a Chinese Honda clone on there. So uh, I'll show you what I've found so far. This is starter fluid. not firing off at all so next step would be to look at the plug so the plug on these engines always hard to get to you need one of these long extensions if you don't have one of these it's gonna make it pretty tough to get into the plug and you can see I just uh, hand tightened it in there. Looks like it's flooded. But anyhow, we'll hook this up. And I'll show you the spark. Because uh, there is spark. wasn't seeing it there switching plugs because I think the other one looked like it was uh, actually flooded hopefully you can see that there is spark so I just want to check the compression on this before I, I I'm thinking that there's actually weak spark uh, so I'm gonna check the compression I haven't checked it yet I'd like to see you know somewhere around at least over 90 I'm trying to get this thing so you can see it I think you can see it. Except I can't pull it because the camera's in the way. Alright, now you guys should be able to see that tester. Compression's pretty low, but I don't know if there's a uh, compression release on this engine. It's about seventy. So I want to check that spark again and this is my advanced spark checker thing so I've got it set up I had to put a bolt in here because it wouldn't reach through this metal thing So there's a real nice spark so 
The next thing we need to do is figure out why we're losing, we have low compression. Hopefully it's a, a valve issue. This is a bolt I put in there. So this engine is branded as a Cub Cadet and I think it's made by LTC which is a Chinese company because they make the engines for the Cub Cadet snowblowers which I think that's what this thing is the same as I'm just Cub Cadet yeah I don't I don't know um, but Anyhow, we'll quick pull this valve cover. <clears throat> See what we get here. I don't know if this has silicone or a gasket or what. Looks like it has a gasket and partially moved now it's broken all right we'll check these valves let me uh remove this thing so i'll pull the engine over and just take a look at this thing So I'm taking a look in here at these valves. This is the exhaust, here's the muffler, here's the carburetor. So this is the intake. And this feeler is four thousandths and I can't fit it in there. So I just looked it up online and it's supposed to be six thousandths for the intake. So um, I gotta get a 10 mil for that. <clears throat> So this takes a 14 and a 10 to break loose. Oh, man. And apparently they're really tight. All right. So I'll find the right feeler gauge here. Five, here it is. That actually feels pretty good right there. It's a little tight, yeah. So we'll Try and hold the 14. Right here. And we'll tighten up this 10. So the exhaust valve, which is this one, we want to set to eight thousandths. So we want the intake to go all the way in is right there and this one's six thousandths see if it'll even fit in there no all right so we'll try and loosen this guy up And there's not much room in here. All right, we'll get the right feeler gauge here.
See right there. Should be all right. Yeah, I'm just checking the push rods to see if they're bent or anything. They don't look like they are. So, I'm just going to put this gasket right back on and see if this thing will uh, fire up. And um, I actually got a headlight here sent in the mail. Thing's pretty nice. It's a uh, through night it's a rechargeable light it's really bright and they sent it out to me to try it out and this is actually the second job I'm using with it and it's working pretty well and I like the fact that it's a uh, rechargeable and just have like a U USB to plug the thing into I just put the plug in, we're going to see what we get. It's probably going to need cardboard right now. It's on choke. Well that's a good sign. Took it off choke there. Half choke. check if there's gas in it. So we'll put some fuel in there. Can we actually be lucky enough that the carb is good? So we'll put enough fuel in that it'll run. I'm gonna tap on the carburetor a little bit. Just make sure that the needle and seat aren't sticking. And I did check the oil. The oil looked like it was overfilled. But I just want to see if this thing will fire. I'll try to choke. see a machine that has an issue like that and there's no fuel in it unless it just like drained out I don't know I don't know unless they ran it empty but it's kind of nice there's no fuel in there it makes me think that 
uh, you know, could possibly be flooding into the crankcase. As I said, the oil looked high, but the oil looks clear and doesn't smell like gas. Should be a good machine. While we're looking at this, I wanted to give you a couple little tips. First of all, when you unplug these spark plugs, these fuel line pliers, they're the second middle size. When you buy them, you get like a set of three usually. They fit in here and they can pull the boot off the spark plug because it's hard to get in here. Another thing, you really need one of these spark plug wrenches to get in here. So this thing's about seven inches long. And I had a guy that had a pressure washer and you know he, he came to me and he said like yeah I, I have a problem I got uh, the spark plug hole is stripped and he needed it re-tapped and part of the problem is it's really hard to get to the spark plug and the spark plug that comes with these Chinese engines are these torches and this is a lot like the NGK BPR4ES plug and it's it's a wide plug and usually the Honda engines they call for this plug so that's what they run in the Honda so when the shops do a tune up that's what they put in but I always put in these Briggs plugs that are a little thinner 491055T I put these in because they're easier to get a wrench on and they're a little easier to put in and they're uh, the same length, it's just a, a narrower width. So just a little tip for you. And I haven't had any run issues. I've seen problems with the torch plugs and also the NGK plugs as far as just not having sparks sometimes. So I don't know whether they were dropped or what happened, but I've seen it like that. So I think I'm going to run this thing a little bit, uh, change the oil, and... Um, clean it up probably give it a power washing well it did end up not changing the oil but I just took some out the uh, machine calls for 20 ounces and there's a dipstick down here and sure enough I opened that one up and it just started pouring out so I caught it in my pan and the oil looked pretty good so it, when that was even that's 20 ounces and it looked good on the dipstick but uh yeah, overall, it's a pretty nice little machine. I didn't use it, but it seemed pretty powerful just from what I did in the garage here. And I like the fact that it doesn't have pneumatic tires because usually those tires end up flat. And you can set this little thing here to uh, blow forward or you can pop this off and blow sideways. So it's probably pretty easy to lose that thing. But yeah, that's simple enough. And it does start right up. So anyhow guys, thanks for following along with the video. And I think we all learned a little bit of something here. So uh, let me know what you thought. Take care.